10 wasn't enough, we needed more. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down another top 10 hilarious movie deaths. Please be advised, the following clip contains mature content. Gentlemen, let's get down to business. <gasps> Number 10, never bring a sword to a gunfight. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Kicking off our list is Indy's confrontation with an oversized, sword-wielding assassin while visiting Cairo. With the exasperated adventurer too tired for more shenanigans, he decides to lazily teach his new friend that the gun is mightier than the sword. <laughs> Mess with an archaeologist and your history. Number 9. Inspirational Speech, Deep Blue Sea In this horror film, genetically altered super sharks overrun a marine research lab. With so many of the staff's colleagues already being eaten, the survivors begin to succumb to panic. Hey, I don't work for you anymore, okay? I don't have to take Enough! your orders! Leave it to Samuel L. to step in with his long and rousing speech, giving everyone the hope and inspiration they need to survive. We're gonna seal out this Except him. Number eight, you gotta have an opinion, Pulp Fiction. Oh, man. I was drying my hands. Well, you're supposed to wash them first. Well, you washed me wash them. I watched you get them wet. I was washing them. This shit's hard to get off. Maybe if you had lava, I could have done a better job. I used to say the soap you didn't when I finished the towel. It looked like no goddamn maxi pad. Tarantino's classic features John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson as two talkative hitmen who've just carried out a job with the help of their informant. Why the f didn't you tell us somebody was in a bathroom? Slip your mind? Did you forget that someone was in there with a goddamn hand cannon? While caught up in the middle of a heated exchange about divine intervention and disillusionment with their profession, Travolta decides to get a second opinion from their passenger. Well, you gotta have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped oh, You should have just had an opinion, Marvin. Oh man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the f did you do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it, it was an accident. Number seven, all just a misunderstanding. Tucker and Dale versus evil. In an unconventional horror setup, a group of college kids stalk a pair of lovable rednecks, believing them to be psycho killers who kidnap their friend. As time wears on, they off each other one by one in a series of brutal misunderstandings, the funniest of which involves a beehive and a chainsaw. Even more ridiculous is that this prompts another member of the group to try to take a stab at playing hero. <laughs> Number 6, Steamroller, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. In this scene from the iconic spy spoof, Austin and Vanessa find themselves in the need of a quick getaway. Commandeering the only vehicle available, they make a daring, yet slow speed escape. Careful, Austin. No! Too bad this dim-witted guard goes all deer in the headlights, cause Austin never backs down from a game of chicken. No! Oh. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Number 5, Oh My God, Troll 2. Okay, here comes the trashier stuff. In what is widely regarded as the worst movie ever, nilbogs are on the loose and turning people into green plant goo that they can feed on. As dumb as this sounds, and looks, this scene is immortalized not so much by a hilarious death, but by the Oscar-worthy reaction to it. They're eating her! And then they're going to eat me! Oh my god! Number four, perfectly safe, scanners. Nothing ever goes wrong when evil corporations try to exploit the supernatural, so this death must have come as a total shocker. When people start to question whether those with telepathic abilities, known as scanners, are a hazard to the public, a demonstration is set up to show just how effective and safe telepathy really is. I must remind you that the uh, scanning experience is usually a painful one, sometimes resulting in nosebleeds, earaches, stomach cramps, nausea, sometimes other symptoms of a similar nature. Ah! 
Number three, overpowered soda machine, maximum overdrive. Earth is passed by a rogue comet that makes all of the machines come alive and go all Skynet in this Stephen King inspired horror flick. This machine just called me an asshole. When a coach decides to treat his team to some soda, the newly evil vending machine gives him and his team some pop instead. Oh. <laughs> you thought diabetes was dangerous. Number two, the assassinations, Jane Austen's Mafia. In this slapstick mafia spoof, a new dawn is coronated and the most unusual of assassins are dispatched to tie up loose ends during his wedding. The results are some of the most outlandish deaths in movie history. The first one parodies the mob's use of high explosives to send a message. His business. Let no man tear us under. <laughs> Scusi. Mazel tov. And the other one, well, we seriously don't know what they're referencing here. <laughs> Number one, Just Die Already, Karatechi Kiz, aka Karate Girl. Rounding off our list is the Turkish film in which a woman seeks revenge against the fugitives who murdered her father. Tracking down one of the hooligans, the two duke it out for a minute or two before she pulls a gun and takes five excessively long shots to put him down. Expecting a bit more yelling? You're probably thinking of the infamous YouTube edit, which sounds something like... Okay, that's enough. Agree with our list? Which movie death slayed you with laughter? For more hilarious and outrageous top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.